when you go behind the veil and you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost you realize this isn't the same place I was before the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe and if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us this is a question that I get a lot what denomination are you right and you, you can understand because as people are trying to put put you in their head and they really have nowhere to put it well I, I'm not gonna help <laughs> with that so I'd like to answer this tonight what denomination are you but it's somewhat problematic now the simple answer would be we're non-denominational that's like a write-off you know because even even most non-denominational people are associated with some type of belief they believe a certain way they could be a part of that denomination they just choose not to be the easy answer would be go non-denominational but that really doesn't answer anything no. it's a bit more than that what we are we're presenting a new way of thinking a new way of believing and frankly a new way of living it doesn't fit in any of those denominations second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away so we can understand that on one side of the veil you see and think and act like one way mm -hmm. say see, see and, think and think and act yeah like one way but on the other side of the veil is going to be a whole different thing say a whole different thing whole different right thing. the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is mm -hmm. and on the other side of that veil what do we see the Lord is that spirit mm -hmm. and where the spirit of the Lord is or where the spirit is Lord there is liberty or a certain kind of liberty a certain kind of thinking a certain kind of liberty a certain kind of believing that wasn't on the other side of the veil mm -hmm. so a large part of what I'm called to do here and what we do here in this ministry mm -hmm. is bring people to the other side of that veil where the Spirit is Lord mm -hmm. and there's a new reality that you enter into say a new reality, a new reality. where the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him now that's not where most people are you understand the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words that's not really a denomination is it no. that's you walking with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today by saying words yeah. and right now we're a loosely organized society of people who believe this way mm -hmm. who believe what way who believe that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words who's the society we who believe that and walk with the Holy Ghost by saying words mm -hmm. now we literally believe literally say literally. literally we literally believe everything that all of those other denominations believe you understand because people would accuse us I'll get into this in a minute they'd accuse us of not believing all these other things because I say that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and I walk with him by saying words they automatically assume that I don't believe all those other things that they've built their denominations on we literally believe everything everyone else says they do but everything on this side of the veil is in order it's put in order like putting your hands together you understand everything fits everything makes sense I, t I can't tell you how many times I get that comment over and over again since I started worshiping the Holy Ghost everything makes sense people that have been believers filled with the Holy Ghost for years but never took that step to worship him all of a sudden things begin to make sense for them why why because they're stepping on the other side of the veil where everything makes sense so in here in this room of worshiping the Holy Ghost everything makes sense and you can't go back I can't go back I'm not going back in fact I'm going on say I'm going on, going on. 
now a lot of times i'll uh, like i said we'll get we'll get accusations that you don't believe in this or you don't believe how would they know what i believe if they haven't listened to all my messages mm -hmm. and every one of these things i'm going to talk about i've preached whole sermons on it but my main message is to bring you behind the veil so you can walk with the holy ghost as god in the earth today you understand well you don't believe in the blood of jesus well you haven't, you haven't been around long enough mm -hmm. i believe in the blood of jesus more than you most likely you don't believe in the authority of the written Word of God I believe in the authority of the written Word of God probably more than you do I'm just gonna list off a bunch of things but these are things that people people build their denominations on and they say oh you you aren't part of us because you know they say you don't believe that well you come to find out if I believe all those things what's your problem right. all those things that people be a stickler on blood of Jesus or the virgin birth you don't believe in that I've preached whole messages on the virgin birth usually it's around Christmas time I believe in the virgin birth probably more than you do you don't believe in the name of Jesus it's whatsoever you do do all things in the name of Jesus right yes. I've preached messages whole series on the name of Jesus and the authority of the believer oh you don't believe in the authority of the believer I'm just covering these things because these these are little tag things that people check off to whether you're a heretic or not well, I ain't no heretic I believe all of these things probably more than you do speaking in tongues do I believe in speaking in tongues yes. I preach on it all the time the gifts of the Spirit yes the ministry gifts of the Spirit yes water baptism I've preached on it I've done it all right Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on unto perfection not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God do I preach on faith towards God mm -hmm. uh-huh of the doctrine of baptisms of the laying on of hands of the resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment how about resurrection of the dead do we preach on the resurrection of the dead mm -hmm. yeah what about eternal judgment mm -hmm. yes we believe these things check 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 not heretic not heretic not heretic not heretic mm -hmm. I believe these things probably more than you how about the return of Jesus I guarantee you I believe in that more than you do because I'm believing for him say him him, him to return mm -hmm. yes. you're believing he's here walking around with you all day long and I'm preaching he's not here the Holy Ghost is here the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today we walk around with him and Jesus will return the real Jesus well I, I guess you do believe in the return of Jesus yes I actually do verse 3 and this we will do if God permit so but this says we're supposed to go on mm -hmm. we believe all of these things does that hinder us from going on no that should be a good foundation for us to go on from or on you understand that's why I believe them all mm -hmm. well we're supposed to go on and then he says to go on to the Holy Ghost and the powers of the world to come so we believe all of these things except we believe and practice that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today the only part of the Godhead that's in the earth today mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost only mm -hmm. in the earth today mm -hmm. so we believe all of those other things scripture 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 and we believe the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today he's the one that the Father and Jesus sent to be with us in the earth mm -hmm. and he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and we walk with him now most other denominations would agree theologically mm -hmm. with that statement that the Holy Ghost is in the earth mm -hmm. and most of them even that he's the only one in the earth because if they read their Bible the Father's in heaven and Jesus is in heaven but the Holy Ghost is the one in the earth it's in their theology it's in their doctrine they say they believe it if you're if you press them into it but do they practice that do they live their life like that no they live it some other way most other denominations would agree theologically with that statement but fail to practice the reality of it mm -hmm. is he God or not is he in the earth or not yes. if he's God and he's in the earth 
we should be acknowledging that and doing something about it what should you do you should worship God shouldn't you mm -hmm. yes. and we should learn about how we walk around with God which is by saying words so all of these things really have just brought us up to this place mm -hmm. but these denominations have failed us well that felt good to say <laughs> yeah. and they say most of them we don't worship the Holy Ghost you know if you like I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you get this tap on the shoulder mm -hmm. we don't do that here you don't worship God here mm -hmm. I mean it sounds ridiculous to us but that's that's the fact oh you you don't worship God here in this denomination Luke chapter 4 verse 8 Jesus answered and said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve now if the Holy Ghost is God mm -hmm. and he's in the earth today who are you going to serve yeah. him therefore who are you supposed to worship mm -hmm. him thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve right. John 4 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him who's God the Spirit Holy Ghost and they that worship him mm -hmm. who are they that worship him we are they that worship him That's right. say I am they, I am they that, worship that worship him is that scriptural yes. so you believe all of those other things but you also believe that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today does that make you all of a sudden you start you start saying I worship you Holy Ghost and all of a sudden you stop believing all of those other things is that what happens no all of those other things finally make sense we are they that worship him well frankly I know of zero denominations that do this how many is that oh, zero mm -hmm. as in none I may be wrong but as far as I know nobody no denominations worship the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and use the words I worship you Holy Ghost are you here yes. in fact the words I worship you Holy Ghost and especially Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost only and when I say only I mean I'm worshiping him as the only God in the earth today you understand mm -hmm. so as far as using the words or having those words come out people's mouths I worship you Holy Ghost only it's foreign in most circles and in most denominations if not outright rebuked if that's true then they can't walk with him as God in the earth the way they should they can't walk with the Holy Ghost you gotta listen to this they can't walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth the way we do not criticizing anybody else I'm just it's a plain fact of reality new reality we have now we have a liberty that others don't have because they've not come behind the veil come on in behind the veil and all things will begin to make sense to you and you'll be able to walk with God in a way you've never walked with him before so again what denomination are you are you seeing where we're, we're trying to go here what denomination are you is a, is a question that comes from people's minds because they're trying to fit you in a box and it doesn't fit in any of the boxes mm -hmm. frankly you've got the cart before the horse with that question I worship you Holy Ghost and especially I worship you Holy Ghost only as God in the earth today is different altogether that's why it doesn't fit in all of these other denominations in your denomination or in your your denominational thinking you think that if you worship the Holy Ghost somehow God will be offended am I wrong here if I worship the Holy Ghost you're thinking this if I worship the Holy Ghost somehow God will be offended that's proof that you don't know him as God why would he be offended he's God 
you don't know him as God if you knew him as God you would worship him and frankly if you take that step of faith and worship him you will know him as God mm -hmm. and I know I've been there too if if I worship the Holy Ghost maybe maybe God will be offended that's because I didn't know him as God mm -hmm. but if you know him as God you know worshiping him isn't gonna offend him it's proof you don't know him as God but if you worship him as God you are in a different race altogether now you've got the horse before the cart and you realize that you're in a different situation you have you been here do you know that this is different when you worship the Holy Ghost as God it's different you're in a different cart <laughs> right and he will reveal to you what denomination you're in his denomination mm -hmm. his only denomination you know God's very jealous he's all about only say his only his only, his only denomination Holy Ghost only denomination you could even say that a Holy Ghost only denomination right mm -hmm. now because everybody wants to know what denomination are you in you know, we went to a family picket picnic mm -hmm. when we were up in New York there and you know people were like well what then I'm in you know and then uh, one of one of the people they were very nice lady and gentlemen they were ministers for like you know a long time and they were they're were curious about well what denomination are you in who are you under that was her big question well who are you under who are you under <laughs> God right <laughs> And I've been involved in other denominations that's not really the point of this but so I'm walking back and forth in the kitchen I went over and make some coffee and I'm like God what is it what it what what do you want me to tell this person and as I was standing there over by the coffee machine and you know the, the sink is over there I had this sense on the inside of me that I had forgotten something over by the sink and I'm sitting there thinking I didn't forget anything over there why would I need it you ever do that mm -hmm. I feel like I forgot something say I feel like I forgot something over there I feel like I forgot something over that was just my mind trying to figure out what this was trying to make me go over here again mm -hmm. why do I want to walk my I've learned mm -hmm. say he's learned. he's learned I've learned over the years mm -hmm. to obey certain things that are coming out of my inner man that my mind doesn't quite understand mm -hmm. and so I said all right so I walked back over there by the sink when I walked over by the sink that same angel that has spoken to me so many times before and only one word did he say do you suppose what did you suppose he said only. only he's the only angel he speaks the word only the word only he speaks the word and here so I went over there and then right right then when he said that Holy Ghost only what denomination do you tell him Holy Ghost only now you can understand the amount of weight that's behind that because we brought you up this far yes. are you here but you realize that you're someplace different right mm -hmm. when you go behind the veil and you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost you realize this isn't the same place I was before things are different over here remember in the writ wiz I think it's the, the Wizard of Oz and it was all black and white and you're like why aren't we watching this black and white movie you know and then she goes up in the whirlwind and then she comes down lands on a witch and then what happens when she comes out color. brand new color it was a brand new place everything looked different mm -hmm. but this is not the same as before I'm telling you I've been preaching the gospel for a long time and being in behind the veil by worshiping the Holy Ghost is not the same as before when you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost as God he begins to take you behind the veil he grabs onto your hand begins to take you and walk you behind the veil are you here I worship you Holy Ghost 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 only now you really don't want to criticize me for doing that he might just be God in the earth I might just know what I'm talking about mm -hmm. 
fact is he is God and he is in the earth we are in the earth you shouldn't have to explain this to people he's in the earth we's in the earth we are earth dwellers mm -hmm. are you an earth dweller yes. say I'm an earth dweller. an earth dweller where's the Holy Ghost the only the one only part of the Godhead where is he he's in the earth with you in the earth mm -hmm. well if you're gonna worship God the logical conclusion here shouldn't be that far of a step if you're gonna worship God and he's in the earth because he is God you're in the earth he's in the and you worship him I worship you Holy Ghost so you could say our religion is one of being a Holy Ghost worshiper this shouldn't be so ridiculously radical it only is because of your religious thinking and trying to put me into some denominational box this won't fit in your de denominational box mm -hmm. but you really should not criticize me when I start to go I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost only because he might just be God in the earth mm -hmm. and I might just be his servant mm -hmm. might just be and it's possible that I know what I'm talking about mm -hmm. in fact it's more possible that I know what I'm talking about because I've done it mm -hmm. than people who want to criticize me for doing it that have never done it themselves that's right as like asking somebody that's swimming around in the pool is the water is the water cold or warm oh it's warm come on in and go no it's cold it's the logical conclusion of scripture and theology that the holy ghost is god in the earth today and we're supposed to worship god but we do this do what we do this worshiping him and walking with him as God I'm telling you that feels so good when I say it that we worship the Holy Ghost and walk with him as God in the earth today that's the logical conclusion that's where the gospel brought you up to that's why Jesus came so that you could walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today but we walk with him by saying words Amos chapter 3 3 says how can two walk together except they be agreed how can two the two would be you and the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. how can you two in the earth walk together except you be agreed or be agreed means say the same thing mm -hmm. we know that's how we walk with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today is by saying words by speaking in agreement with his word this is effectual meaning it has an effect not like religious doctrine that makes the word of God of no effect mm -hmm. this is effectual thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt you serve if you don't worship the Lord your God you won't have the capacity or ability to and him only mm -hmm. say and him only, and him only. shall you serve mm -hmm. it opens up to you when you begin to worship the Lord your God who is the Lord your God in the earth the holy, ghost. holy ghost you're still in the earth right yes. you have to keep asking you wonder but i know of no other denomination right now who does this these things i've been saying but it is my distinct pleasure and honor to use the words i worship you holy ghost only it's a pleasure and it's an honor and it's effective to speak in agreement with his word because I know who I'm speaking in agreement with mm -hmm. what do you mean speak in agreement with his word find scriptures that are his word and speak in agreement with them mm -hmm. it's one of the greatest joys of my life when I walk the floor and I worship the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost only and I've done this for extended periods of time or when I walk the floor and I confess scriptures by Jesus stripes I was healed sickness cannot stay in my body my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus I'm speaking in agreement with his word Amen. I come to realize that that's the real me that's really me that's really me 
that is really me the other one that's thinking out in this other zone right caught up in the news caught up in this caught up in the, that's just that's the outside me yes. right yes. the real me worships the Holy Ghost say the real me, real me. worships the Holy Ghost why would the real you worship the Holy Ghost the real you your inner man knows he's God and after a period of time worshiping the Holy Ghost you realize that's who you are I am a Holy Ghost worshiper that's who I am you get down and you take away all the other stuff that's who I am and I walk with him by speaking in agreement with his words that's who I am I am Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it I am made rich no sorrow added with it I am a Holy Ghost worshiper made rich no sorrow added that's who I am so in this room this is your future this is who you really are this is who I really am that's really when all those scriptures come alive first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God but what in the living God trust in another word for trust would be faith would be belief your belief is your religion right mm -hmm. your faith your belief you ever heard that what what faith are you mm -hmm. trust in faith in living God my faith is in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy who gives you richly all things to enjoy the living, God. living God who's the living God I won't take you there the Holy Ghost specifically concretely in the Bible the Bible calls the Holy Ghost the living God where is he living right here in the earth with you this says your faith is supposed to be in living God who gives you richly all things say all things. all things now if he gives me richly all things what other things do I need well let's say I got I got all things over here he gives me richly all, all things but I might need some no nope, no nope, no nope, all things all things necess of necessity means only are you seeing this the Holy Ghost only and when you worship him he's able to richly provide you with all things for your enjoyment is this making sense so our faith our trust our belief is in this new reality of the living God the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today and he provides us richly with all things are you mad at me no. what if that's what I believe mm -hmm. all those other things brought me up to this place where I walk with the living God who is the Holy Ghost in the earth and he richly provides me with all things mm -hmm. it's different is it not you can get mad at me if you want I've had plenty of people get mad at me before it doesn't seem to bother me are you gonna use the word only I worship you Holy Ghost only now did you see that I hope I showed that to you trust not in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy if he's the one giving us richly all things then we don't need to trust in any other God in the earth That's right. continued use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost only will completely transform you and bring you into a new manifestation of the Spirit something you've never known before some place you've never been before and he wants you to come in but the door is open the door is worship these are my people I want them in 
he says you tell them to come in I'm telling you in Jesus name to come in begin worshiping the Holy Ghost and you will see and you will know what you're supposed to be who you are and how to live the life with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today I pray for these people Holy Ghost I thank you that they are blessed and you're revealing yourself to them right now we thank you for them increasing them blessing them in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that as I sow this seed it shall multiply greatly for me and I shall have abundance and no lack as we walk together in this earth in Jesus name Amen Holy Ghost your God